Hey everybody, Terry Bradley here, simpleswingthoughts.com. Now, on this video, we're gonna talk about the senior swing, okay? Now, we're gonna look at the swing from the front view because what I want you to see is the limited shoulder turn that a lot of seniors may have. They may not have the flexibility to go back as far as a lot of us. Um, they also probably do want to take some pressure off their hips by actually moving in their left knee to the right if they're right-handed golfers. And what I want you to see is you can get just as much power from an efficient, restricted backswing as long as you're putting the club on plane and dropping it on its plane. The club literally does all the work. And, and so as seniors look at this, I want you to understand that you can actually get more power doing this instead of trying to come way out of your posture and trying to come way up you know, which brings you way out of your posture, and then you come down thinking you're going to get more power doing that. Well, basically what you've done is you've basically distributed all your power to other places and not putting it exactly where it needs to be. So we're going to look at this swing. We're going to look at this just this one swing. I don't want this video to be too long, but we're going to look at this one swing and get everything we need out of it in terms of um, how to make it work for seniors and for all of us. So Again, as I'm set up over the ball, as you can see, grip and posture, um, uh, shaft is forward. Now, I think I'm hitting a seven iron here, so uh, I've got some good forward shaftling going. I'm going to really compress the ball to get it going to where I want it to go because, you know, compression of the golf ball is what actually gives you power. So we're going to show you how to do that real quick with a three-quarter swing. Okay, so now, as I take the club back, notice I bring the club back on plane. I'm keeping the club head outside my hands, okay? I'm not taking it back to the inside. And as I get to here, notice how everything's lined up. I've got the triangle going here. I've got the club shaft on plane. That club head is perfectly square right now. Um, it looks closed, but when I get to the top of the swing, it's, it's perfectly square as my hands lead into the ball. So now as I come to my back swing, now notice in my mind, I'm thinking I'm stopping there, okay? Because this is where a lot of seniors can stop and get the power they need. Again, if they drop their arms, keep their head behind the ball. But obviously, I'm going to go back a little further because momentum's taking me back. So as I go back to the top of my backswing, notice how I drop my arms. See how the arms are dropping? The arms are dropping right there into place. Now I'm in the slot position. Okay, now notice my head is not going to move from in front, from behind the ball. What's going to happen is everything's going to clear automatically. Okay, so as I'm dropping my arms, keeping my head behind the ball, Notice how now the shaft gets into position to where it needs to be as I come through the ball. Now at impact, notice everything staying down. Notice how my right head, my, I'm sorry, my right, my head is staying behind my right knee. Now that's a good little swing thought for me that goes right along with head position is I always keep my head on my right knee. And what that promotes is more of a, a hit through the ball. Okay, triangle staying there, balls gone now the club is swinging through now at impact um now at impact there as you can see um everything's right there in line to where it needs to be okay left arm on my left leg stiff left side head behind the ball now as i come through it all it all works right there so i'm going to show you this swing in fast motion and again what i want you to understand is again i'm thinking of a 40 degree back swing and um and so that's, that's how we want to think of it, okay? So let's go back to the beginning here. And again, for all you seniors out there, uh, you don't need a big, big, wide backswing. All you need to do is stay in your posture, drop your, drop your arms, keep your head behind the ball, even if you just get a three-quarter swing or maybe even a half swing, okay? So let's, uh, let's take a listen, and uh, we'll see what we got. Here. Okay, so now that might have went a little fast for you. Let's let's take a look at that again. I'm gonna actually let's back it up here. Okay, let's back it up to here because I'm actually doing something else here. Okay, let's 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 listen from here, and that way you can get the full effect of down the line and the the full swing. Okay, let's take a listen. Forty degree on plane. Forty degree on plane here, not here, here, here. And then just here from here, just drop the club. What it's going to do, it's going to drop right where you started it. Okay? So one more time. A little half swing. 40 degrees. Here. Okay? Work 
on that. I will see you on the next video. We'll do. Okay, so again, work on that. Um, again, great drill for ones who are not seniors. Seniors, do exactly this because you're going to get a lot more power. You're going to get a lot more efficient power. Again, taking it back on the plane, going back about 40 degrees on your backswing, and then just dropping your arms into place and following through, head behind the ball, head on your right knee, club does the work. Okay, again, my name's Terry. Again, uh, opt in. Uh, I guess I'm going to put this video online and put it on YouTube for all other seniors around the world. Uh, please, comments at the bottom of the video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the feedback. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. A lot of you who are commenting, you know I get back to you ASAP in terms of getting to you to, to get this conversation going. So, again, tee them up, hit them straight. I'll talk to you on the next video. Until then, uh, have fun and uh, hit them straight.